to whom the Lord will not impute iniquity. That's a beautiful thought that there's a man or a woman that God will not impute iniquity to, that he will cover their sins. It's because of the blood of Christ that we have that continually cleanses, cleanses the faithful Christian who lives a professional life, that is, we profess Christ. We live a confessional life in that we confess our sins to the Lord, 1 John 1, verse 9. But we walk in the light as he is in the light, and we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses us from all sins. That's the man whose sins are covered and to whom the Lord will not impute iniquity. But what about the man who turns his back on all of that and he goes back to the world and he's wandering around in the world aimlessly. He needs to be go. He, we need to go rescue that person. And this person doesn't have their sins covered. Maybe at one time they were covered when they were walking in the light, but now they've gone back to darkness, loving darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. And what they need to do is repent of those sins, confess those sins to the Lord, and pray that perhaps the thought of their heart might be forgiven, and the Lord will abundantly pardon and restore such a one. And then that person can begin again knowing that forgiveness is a reality, that mercy and grace have been extended when they didn't deserve it, and punishment has been withheld that was deserved. What a wonderful blessing this is, and what a wonderful way this book ends. And it's a challenge that is also a command that we need to accept. We are our brother's keeper, and we need to think about our brothers and sisters that are getting weak, and that we need to go and rescue. Can you think of people that once were faithful members of the church that have wandered away from the truth? We need to call their names in prayer and we need to call them on the phone and we need to go see them and we need to convert them through the power of Christ and his gospel back to the Lord so that they can be saved from their sins and that their multitudinous sin, that's a big word, but all those sins that could be committed or have been committed, they, they can be covered so that this person is in a right relationship with the Lord. This is a marvelous thing to contemplate, and we need to be involved in it. We hope you have had a good day worshiping the Lord together and opening his word. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we ask your blessings upon our day as we've sought to open your word and rightly divide it. We pray that the truth of your word will not return void, and unto you be all praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name we pray.